welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Um, today we're going to dress up a few hampers. Now, these hampers have come from various different shops. I've collected bits and pieces from various shops as well. Um, and they're hampers that I would love to receive. So um, you can do hampers for all sorts of things. You can do food, you can do toiletries, you can do... Um, as before we gave an idea of doing maybe a movie night hamper. Um, there's so many different ideas that you can do. So if I give you some different sizes, just to give you some little tips on how you can wrap them up, then um, hopefully that should help. Now this basket here came from the range and they do sort of various different sizes. I think two came from the range. Now you do get some paper shred inside, um, but I took that out because it was a little bit messy and I didn't really want to use it. So what I'm going to do is I've got some tissue paper here and I'm just going to line it with some red tissue paper. Now in the in Poundland and various of the shops they've actually got Christmassy um, tissue paper which would look really nice but when I did a video I did actually forget to pick it up so I'm just going to use this plain stuff and I think red kind of screams Christmas doesn't it. So I'm just going to put some tissue paper in the bottom like that and this is a small size that you can get from um just put the tissue paper from the um the range so what we're going to do is i'm going to put various bits together now i picked up some things from lidl um aldi and poundland and i think that might be where all of the items came from um so look about when you're on your travels look about and see what things you could maybe fit in you know and, and that you could use so this fudge came, I think it was maybe Aldi, I can't remember now. Let's have a look. If not, it would have been Lidl. And you kind of build them up as you go. So what I'm going to do is put two kind of things with a bit of height that side. These came from Poundland, so I'm going to pop that there. And then in this gap in the middle, I'm going to put this Christmas pudding as well. So it's not overloaded with items, but I just think it looks it looks nice. It looks a nice gift, and I'd certainly like that. Now, I'm going to use the gift cello wrap that you can get from Poundland, and this one has little snowflakes on. You can buy it from so many different places. You can actually buy it on Amazon as well, so I'll pop a link for some in the description down below. So what I'm going to do is to get some of the cello wrap. I always roll off a little bit more than I need so it's better to cut it off because you can't stick it back on so just get some there I'm just going to grab some scissors okay, and we're going to trim along the top here okay. so then what we're going to do is we need to fold these side bits in I'm just going to pull the camera up slightly just so you can see I'm going to pull it up a little bit but what I'm going to do is to scrunch the top okay so to do that you need to grab the top part and get yourself some of this curling ribbon now I will leave a link for this as well but you can also buy this for about pound and they sell it in the packs with the bows so you could do that so get the top part don't worry about the sides for now and scrunch it Runch it up, okay? Get your piece of curling ribbon and go around the top there. And we're going to leave these extra bits hanging down. Now we can sort out this side bit. And what I normally do is to just pull it down and get some cellar tape and we're going to stick it so it's nice and neat. We're going to stick some tape and just stick it down the bottom like that. So any bits that are open a little bit, just grab a bit of tape and just stick them down. So just do that, sometimes you have to re-dig it about, just do that for the other side and there we go. Now what you can do is you can get some lovely bows, you can get some lovely pull bows um, and they're the ones that the florists use, you know that they put on the, the bottom of flowers. They look really really nice and you can decorate these hampers in loads and loads of different ways. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put some different kind of bows and different bits and bobs on top. Um, but what you can do is just in fact curl this curling ribbon. Now you do that just by 
running the um, the scissors along. You can get like that curled effect. And what you can do is put sort of more more on um, and sort of just do it that way. Now, if you remember, we made these little tags. I don't know if you remember, we made the, the little robin tags. They would look nice. Um, if you can get a sort of a smaller one with a little hole through, that would look quite nice on there as well. And, and bow-wise, I've made various different bows. So in some of my other videos, that would look really pretty. Put on, again, it's the same kind of like colour schemes. Um, I know it's not the right colour, but if you look at my bow tutorial, which I'll link also, um, you could make maybe a bow like that and that would stick on and that would look really, really nice. So it's really easy to make these bows. So just check out um, the description down below and that I'll give you quite a few different ideas um, of how you can do them. Um, I'm going to get one of the pull bows and just show you what that looks like. Right, so in the packs, you often get these little bows here. Now being red, that will fit my theme. So with the pull bows, you have two little bits of ribbon in the middle and all you do is to grab hold of those two little bits and pull the bow up like that now you can get bows that are bigger than this and they kind of make a fuller bow but these these are the size or this is the size that you get in the small ones so you just pull it up and then once it's all sort of to the end make sure it's kind of neat and straight and then I always just tie a knot just to sort of stop it sort of sliding everywhere so I'll just tie a knot that side, like that, and just do a double knot. And then that part can then stick on the present. And you can put all sorts on. You could um, put some bits in the middle, just to decorate it a little bit more. I generally bring it round to the front, tie it round the back, bring it round to the front, do a double knot, and then I'll probably trim that very slightly and I'm going to curl these little bits there. So this is quite um, a basic idea. And they're really easy and you get all these things in the pack really. So it's not an elaborate bow, it is quite sort of petite you can get bigger ones i'm just going to move up the camera a little bit so you can see what i'm doing at the top here so i like to cut things at a bit of an angle at the top and um, if you have sort of any excess just kind of cut it off at an angle but i think the um i really like the the cello wrap that you get from poundland but it does come the packs do come with cello um, like the cellophane so you can just use what you get in the bag if you want to but it wouldn't be spotty but I wanted to use the spotty so there we go that's the first one but again you could change the contents and you know put in really what you what you'd like okay so now I'm going to show you this next idea now this bag came from the range and I've just put a selection of items that came from Lidl and um, we've got some of the double chock orange cookies. We've got some fudge in there. And we've got a individual portion of the um, Christmas pudding. Now, what you can do if you wanted to hide the contents is you could put some tissue paper sort of in it as well and just sort of puff it up so you could just sort of, so you wouldn't see what was inside. But I actually think it looks quite nice like that. So I'm going to leave that one like that. Now, the next one I'm going to do is this hamper. This is quite a large size hamper and inside, again, I've put a mixture of items, some from Aldi, Lidl, Poundland, um, you know, places like that. So this is a large box, a large hamper, and this hamper cost $4.99 in itself there. And you get all this stuff at the bottom. So if I just get into that, it's a nice wicker basket and with this one I'm going to leave the stuff inside it's got like sort of shavings but what you can do if you wanted to is swap that for tissue paper but I'm going to leave that in this instance and I'm just going to put the items back in now a good tip is to start at the back and sort of like put the larger things at the back and kind of come down and sort of down to the middle so I've got a bottle of wine there 
and because that's a similar kind of shape I'll put that there and can you see how you sort of build it around to the front there's some shortbread biscuits that's a larger Christmas pudding and then there's a ice topped well, topped iced Christmas bar should I say with the marzipan and the um, icing on the top so that's the box I'm going to use now within this kit here um, you get the basket the wood wool the ribbon tie and the cellophane bag so I'll just show you now I have got some different cello wrap that I'm going to use but I will show you what's inside so this is the pull bow which these are really good these are really easy to use they're the ones that you just pull like the florists have and it makes a nice bow I'm going to save that because I have made a different bow for this one and these are the cello bags so they're clear I'll just open it up and it will be big enough to get the whole basket in if you see what I mean so it's a real a real good size I'm going to use some gold that I purchased online I'm just going to get rid of this yellow paper and <coughs> this is the long stuff it's 80 centimeters wide but I don't know if you can see it's got some really cute gold stars and um, like snowflakes on there so this is the wide one so that would go the Poundland stuff wouldn't be wide enough now to wrap this you've, you've got a few options you could do it just go over it so basically you can just put it over and you don't have to have the extra bit at the top you could just wrap it round and you know like you was wrapping a present and just sort of tape it underneath and pull these side bits down so it's quite flat um, but I'm going to put one of these bows on now I'll link my bow tutorial in the description as well and all I've done is put an extra little strip there and that just kind of neatens the bow up a little bit and I think that looks really really cute so we're going to use that in this instance so that's why I've gone for the gold paper so we can use and I have left when I made the bow I did leave some of the wire on just in case so to do this because I'm going to do it the same kind of way I'm going to get the paper lift this up now obviously the contents and the price will depend on what you want to spend so it can be as little or as much as you decide so just get that bring it round and you just want to leave yourself enough to do the top part as well but as i say the poundland stuff just isn't quite big enough for what we need so i'm just going to grab my scissors and trim off some up there now you've got a few choices what you can use here you can use the curling ribbon to tie or you can use something like this if you wanted to this came from B&M it was just a pound so you could make a bow just straight on out of that if you wanted to um, or you could just use some curling ribbon I have got some gold curling ribbon but it's at the house so I'm just going to use this cream it won't matter because you won't see it so I'm just going to cut some curling ribbon off and then I'm just going to pull this side up and then bring them bring them together now I will stick the side bits down as well I'm just going to tie this. I mean, the the, um, the red bow would look really nice, but as I said, I wanted to go for the gold theme because I've made the gold bow. So I might, in fact, use. Actually, I'll show you what I've got for the next one in a minute. I've made a red bow for that one. I'm just going to straighten out these bits because it gets a little bit crumpled, and then you can sort the side bits out the end I've probably pulled that a little bit too tight there because my wine's poking out so you can just give it a little wiggle or you can leave it so it is a bit open at the side it won't matter too much and then you just fold that down and I'm going to tape down the bottom 
Okay, so those bits will all be taped underneath. Okay, so this part at the top, I'm just going to cut these. You can curl them, but I don't, I don't need them. So I'm just going to cut those off. So I'm just going to add this bow on now. So all you need to do, let me just pull the camera up slightly, just so you can see. This part here, I've left some wire, and I'm just going to wrap that around this top part, and that just holds it in place. Now, what you can do before you put the bow on, I'm not going to put them on this present, but I want to show you um, a couple of different ideas. They have these in Primark. These are actually tree decorations. They're 150, um, but I thought that would look really cute. It's like a little tag if you wanted to put something like that on. Also in Poundland, they have these little gingerbread houses. They do have them personalised, but there are some... That are just there's quite a lot that are just plain so you can write on them maybe with a sharpie or something um that would be really really good if you could just like maybe if you did like a family hamper or something and you just stuck something like that on maybe put the surname on or something so uh, that's one that i'm doing there so i thought they would be quite nice um you could also put like a tag on maybe some jingle bells um, they have these in Poundland at the moment. These are just the silver ones, um, so I won't put any on, but you could maybe put some little jingle bells on there. So I think that looks really, really sweet. A nice present, and um, I don't know, I just like that one. So I'll just show you the next idea now, but I'm going to actually turn the wine glasses round because they have got some names on because they're, they're what I'm giving to someone for Christmas. So I'll turn them round, but they are personalised, um, but I'll show you that one now. Right, so just before I bring the other one in, what I've actually done is changed the bow on the smaller bow that we got with the we did on the previous um, gift basket. And I just want to show you what to do with these or what you can do with these. You can curl them, you can cut them off, um, or something else you can do. I'm just going to snip them a little bit shorter. And you can, if you want to, snip the end, like, through the middle, and pull it up. And this just makes the curls smaller i think it looked quite nice so just snip like that pull them apart and then you get four strands so then what you can do is just curl these four strands it gives you sort of four nice sort of ribbon curled ribbon designs so and i think that looks better than the smaller bow so i've just kind of readjusted that one slightly so let's just move that to the back and i'll show you the next one that i'm going to do so this basket here came from the range and it's got the wood kind of stuffing in i'm going to leave that in for this one as well i'm not going to use the bag and the pull bow so i'm going to use the same cello paper that we used before the longer stuff and i've made a bow for it as well so i'm just going to fluff up this I can't remember how much these baskets were. They're either four ninety nine or six ninety nine. I've completely forgotten now. I've looked at so many over time. Perhaps if you guys know, you could let us know in the comments. So what I've done um, with this one is I've got some wine glasses. I'm going to keep them that way. Um, and in here, I've got some chocolates that I've put into a cello bag. Let me just show you. I'll just take those out. And then that then can go in there and I just think that looks it looks nice from the front actually that's the back of it so I just thought that would be nice so what well, I'll just show you what I'm going to add into this one now this is a plaque and um, this came from Poundland this was just something extra that I wanted to add in it because I just thought it was really nice I like the colours as well so if you start by putting that again at the back so going on the same side of scheme that you're going in the middle sort of higher and kind of coming down um, but what I'm going to do with this is I've got some wine and I thought maybe the wine would look sort of quite nice in the middle and then these are some caramel crunch and we've got some Thorntons they came from Poundland as well and then we've got the glasses now these have got the names on the front and they can go in there I've got a bottle of wine too and they can go in there and I think that looks really really pretty so I'm going to wrap that up um what i want to show you as well is i have got a few little ideas for for the top part so again you could wrap it 
you could wrap it so it's sort of all covered but I think this kind of style looks nice where it's got sort of a bigger part at the top so this is the 80 centimeters wide so if you are looking you want the wider stuff the smaller baskets that we used before is fine with the Poundland stuff but if you get any bigger than that kind of basket then it's not going to fit I mean you can stick two pieces together but I did buy this extra because I just thought it would look you know it would look nice what you could do here is you could put some chocolates you could maybe bag some extra bits of chocolate up and sort of sprinkle that through there um I did buy this to go on I think this was this was from home bargains I think it was about a pound or something so I'm going to stick that on the top and I also made a bow here we've got um a bow made in exactly the same way as the gold one I've just put the little strip in the middle so um, I think we'll use that and the Santa for this one um, I just that looks quite nice so what I'm going to do is wrap this in exactly the same way and um, I'll be back with you and put the bow on just one quick thing I did forget to put on is I've got these wine glass charms as well so these will go on the bottom so I'm going to just open that up and that then that then just clips on there and as you can see like they just sit like that which is really quite cute so just forgot to show you those so I'll put those on and then wrap wrap it up but I'm just going to stick the bow on the top now and this little character. So all I've done is cut off the ribbon because the ribbon wasn't sort of long enough to tie round. And I'm just going to thread some of this thin red ribbon through the top and then poke that, if you can get it through there. And then just going to wrap that around the top. And that just gives me enough space to tie it around the back. Otherwise, you don't really get much ribbon and be a bit tricky so I'm just going to tie that there just in a knot that's all just so that bit of sand dangles down and I'm just going to cut these extra bits off I've just stuck some labels there so people can't see who they're for and here we've got the bow that I made it's just a snowman one and sort of the red colours that's why I picked the Santa that bow can go around the back and I'll just twist the wire because I left the wire on this one as well and just pull that round now if you wanted to I'll just lift that up a bit if you wanted to you could um, put like a tag on I will put tags on but I haven't got them made at the moment so just neaten that round if it does get a bit crumpled you just got to straighten it up because it looks absolutely fine once it's been straightened up and that is it so that's another little idea of um, a little charm and something you can put on there so that's that one let's um, pull them all in now and here we go here are the four hampers that are completed so I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you um, have got to the end then well done and just give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all again soon bye for now